how's everybody doing? I hope everybody's well. And uh, I just got my RTX 3070. That's what you are seeing uh, today. And my setup is for a 2K setup, right? Everything's 1440p. Um, so keep that in mind. Um, it is 1 a.m. where I'm at right now. So it's pretty late. I'm gonna go to sleep fairly soon. But before I wanted to do a quick fly, and uh, you know, I was wondering what Havana, Cuba looked like. So let's go take a look at what Cuba looks like at night. This is live, the weather's live. So this is what it's looking at right now. Um, we have our VFR map here. So in general, I think I'm gonna wanna go a little bit um, west. Take a look. The sky looks amazing. Uh, really, I'm running everything in ultra. By the way, all the all the settings are ultra. So uh, I'll have to do another video where it shows it during the day. It looks, it looks really, really good, actually cockpit is really good. I'm still a little disappointed at um, stuff at a distance, ground, ground things. There are a lot of streets I've noticed here in Microsoft Flight Simulator that are, if you look close enough, they won't meet anywhere and the cars will get to the end of it and just come back around, like head the other way immediately. It's kind of silly. Okay, but as we start to get closer, uh, attention to some of this detail. To be honest, this is beautiful. You know what? Let's uh, let's go ahead and change the weather a little bit. Um, not only the weather, but uh, let's. That's probably it. Let's do it. So we're at sunset. Let's have some of these. Something like that. Ah, oh, that's beautiful. How about that? So. visit some of these streets now like I said you know if you're looking at the detail here let me pause for example um, you know it's just a little generic like, I don't know how much this really is Havana I've flown through a couple of places that I really know, like Mexico City and uh, some more on the east east coast of the U.S. And, you know, to tell you the truth, I'm not sure if I'm just not used to looking at things from the top, but they didn't look that realistic. Now I know that there are optimized cities that they've done, like Japan, uh, so I'll have to do another video of those. But uh, I mean, it still looks pretty good. Really. Um, and as far as the 3070, I am super impressed. I mean, I'm able to run this game right now in all the ultra settings for you know, 1440p. And still stream. And it's not even bothered by it. So, that is pretty amazing. Off here, 
Landing Tower Cessna Alpha Sierra X-ray Golf Sierra Frequency Change. Approach so, Cessna so Alpha Sierra X-ray Golf Sierra is time Cessna 152 flight miles west of Marty. Request flight following. Alpha Sierra, X-ray Golf Sierra approach. Walk next five, Sierra two. So, just everything. Look at the reflection. Flight zero two, Cessna X-ray Golf Sierra. Cessna X-ray Golf Sierra, approach. Turns out, I guess, not a whole lot to see in Havana. Uh, maybe I'm just in the wrong place. Yeah. Oh, wow, yeah. Let's go over there, where all the pretty lights are. Um, so check out these reflections on the water. Check out as I go up and down. That's kind of weird, actually. You see that? That's, that's definitely a glitch. Uh, a little bit, maybe. Actually, no, I think they're, they're somewhat realistic. Yeah. And that sky is just amazing. It's beautiful. It really is a gorgeous game. Okay, as I'm approaching, you can tell maybe that my friends are starting to drop it. This is a place. Yeah, now this is a Havana, you know. And if I pause it, you can just see everything that's going on around me. Wow, that is beautiful. Just... Sorry for that. My mouse is a little. I think it's actually dying. So that's why. Let's go and switch. Go ahead and switch to this. Actually, yeah. It is beautiful though. I can't wait until I get. You, uh, everyone should stick around for my HP Reverb G2. We should get around here anytime now. And this is gonna be just amazing to play. Next level. I also plan on getting me one of those honeycomb yokes, so um, yeah, everyone should stick around for that setup. I'm running the CH throttle quadrant right now with a VKV Next or the NXT um, joystick. I like it a lot. It's a really nice setup. Um, I do a lot of digital combat simulator as well. I play a lot of that, so um, uh, my throttle quadrant, the CH, I really wouldn't recommend it too much. It's okay, I guess, but uh, I only got it because everything else was sold out, and it has been for months. Now, so maybe in 2021, I'll be able to get. Throttle quadrant for a decent price. Until then, I snatched one of these. So it's been doing a good job, really. Uh, it's better than just the joystick without a throttle quadrant, for sure. Okay, so let's go ahead and do a landing. Wow, that just looks amazing. I don't know what I need to do to tell it that I'm gonna land. There's nothing. Just that.
tight runway. Are we gonna have enough space? Did I give myself enough time? Uh, maybe. Stick with me, stick with me, stick with me. Good angle of attack. Nailed it! bad actually if I say so myself so that's my first video of Microsoft Flight Simulator with my RTX 3070 um, running a Ryzen 5 5600 if anyone's wondering um, so yeah hope you enjoyed <laughs>